we have got our rental car here. Well, you know Success. what? Hold on, this is a new cruise series. We have to do oh, a full gosh. introduction. You know what? Beep, beep. Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are, are Para DJ. DJ. We are here in Port Canaveral at the budget rental car, the shuttle location, because we just got off the Mariner of the Seas today, and we decided we needed to rent a car, head down to West Palm Beach, and get on the Bahamas Paradise mm -hmm. Grand Celebration, which is, it's the old carnival celebration. We're excited. I know. It's Maybe like, we, we never sailed the celebration, so now we kind of get to collect does another, it does it still count? I think so. Because it still has a whale tail. It's it does. Carnival it's an orange shirt. whale tail. It's fine. Anyway, but it's cool. It's a little two-day cruise that takes you to Freeport and back. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We're, we don't know a whole lot about it, but I mean, I, we've watched some videos, mm -hmm. and we're going to be learning as we go. We're excited. So anyway, new we, we, we about to hop in this rental and go get some breakfast. They parked them real tight back it's there, so I'm going <laughs> to slide this bad boy forward so we can get all the bags in the car. Rental car obtained. <laughs> Then we're going to get some breakfast and head to West Palm. Yeah. So come on along with us for another adventure. I think it'll be fun. That's right. Bye. Bye for now. So pretty. Looks like a carnival show. Yeah. We have arrived at the port of Palm Beach and right on cue they are playing Justin Bieber just for me. Well, Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran, so that's better. Let's see if we can sneak a little peek of the grand celebration while we're waiting to check in. Ah, oh, there she is. Check out, ooh, look at that sunshine and that orange funnel action. Love it. That was easy. Yeah, super quick check in. All we had to do was run through the metal detector. That's about it. I haven't seen any signs about no video in here, so uh, I guess until we'll just kind of sneak some. All right, we are all checked in and waiting. Look, there I am. Hey, Reflection Me, how you doing? So we can get sort of a peek up at the back of the ship. Oh, look at that funnel. All right, but part of the check-in process is once you actually get checked in, there's all these different stations that you walk by. Like if you want to sign up for any drink package, drink coupon, shore excursions, you kind of do that on the spot right here in the terminal. So kind of different, but it's kind of cool. And they even have a little station right here with cookies and water. They got like lemon lime water and regular old, you know, clear water while you wait. Getting our refreshment on. Had to try those cookies. They're pretty good. Little cakey cookies. But yeah, when we got through the check-in process, the first station you went through was like a vacation, uh, like a vacation club kind of a thing where he said, sure. pretty mm -hmm. much, that's, sure. that. that's a bad word, where he said that if you give them like 45 to 60 minutes of your time, because we've got some downtime in between now and when we can board, that they would give you like a $50 onboard credit. So that is something that you can do. Super low pressure though. It was really low pressure. And we didn't even say no. He's actually just said, if you want to, just come back and see it. Right. Then you go by and you take a welcome picture, which they had a green screen. We kind of bypassed that, but you know, welcome pictures are cool. And then you go by the shore excursion uh, area where they can you can buy them on the spot. Dining. And then like drink packages. Because the one thing is like they don't really do a lot online when you book this cruise. Like you can call in and book things ahead of time, but it's not like there's an online process. You don't really get a boarding pass. You just kind of show up, you give them your name. Mm -hmm. um, and so you do most of your stuff either on board or when you get here into the terminal. Uh, like we have a 20% off the Wi-Fi package, which we're gonna buy Wi-Fi, but you have to wait till you get on board to do that. Yeah. So that's something we'll have to go to guest services and purchase our Wi-Fi package. So not a lot of online-ness before you get on board, but- It's still easy. It's true, super easy. Yeah, well, we are- We are getting real washed <laughs> I out. I need to go on a cruise. I think the, the sun has come out during our talking time and made us look crazy. But anyway, little updates for now. So we're waiting in the terminal and we'll be boarding. Uh, let's see, we got here right about what, 1030? Mm -hmm. I think they said you board. What time do you board? I said 12, 15. Okay, so about noon-ish. Cabin. Ready at two. Yep, two o'clock. And that's all we know so far. Oh, there okay. the lighting oh. fixed itself. How about that? We were ghosts <laughs> for a minute there. Anyway, let's do a quick spin and look at some of the stations. See, there's some stations there. Oh yeah, there's people back there. We can't spin and look at people. Gosh, I don't want to invade people's privacy. Anyway, that's fine. Just imagine it all in your brain. Cookies. Cookies. All right, we are officially en route to the Grand Celebration. All right, it's time for Dee's first steps on the Grand Celebration. Here they go. Welcome aboard. Wow, thank you. Oh. Watch your step. 
your head. <laughs> we got stuck. Guys, I hear steel drums already. This is a great sign. I so hear steel drums. Hi. Oh, steel drums right there. Steel drum music going. I stopped by uh, guest services to see how the internet worked and she gave me a little paper. I'll have to explain all that when the time comes. Oh wow, we have signs telling where everything is. I think we're gonna go ahead and maybe head up to deck 10, check out the food options. Uh, the cabins aren't gonna be ready until about two. I think we said that earlier. So we are carrying our bags around for now. I do think it's funny they kind of kept the same, uh, basically on the Fantasy Class ships, Deck 4 is called Riviera. They've renamed it with the same starting letter, Regulus. And then you have Main, Upper, Empress, Atlantic, uh, what is P? Promenade, Lido. That's funny. So basically they kept the same lettering scheme and just changed all the names. <gasps> Look at me! There's all your deck plans and where stuff is. We're going to the Luna deck, not the Lido deck. The Luna deck. We have to learn all these new terms. That's right. Two days. I'm not sure. We're not. Lots of signs and legends everywhere. Oh, this is like deck maps for the entire ship right on the wall. That's cool. So out on the main Luna deck. Oh, we've got the plunge bar right there. Cute! We are jamming already. There's the main pool. Oh, looking up to that whale tail. Not quite sure. Yeah, this looks like a little salad bar or something that they set up. They do have ice cream machines. Yeah. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, plunge grill. But anyway, the main buffet, Ocean View Buffet, should be through here. They have a slice above pizza and wine, which I believe is pay. Gotcha, yep, that's a pay place. Yeah, fun little table options, drink stations. That's a good place to start. Gotta hydrate. Okay, so they have unsweetened iced tea, water, fruit punch, and lemonade. And of course, regular water over there too. You've got your Earl Grey English breakfast tea and regular tea, also known as black tea. Here's our main buffet area. Some of them are not open yet, but they do have some food rolling. Oh, I've wandered to the dessert station accidentally. We have fruit, jello, lemon meringue cake, chocolate cake. So we got fish, chicken, pork, potatoes. What is that? Oh, chana masala. And of course, Dee's favorite salad bar. Did you see they have chana masala over there? They know my love for Indian food. And all kinds of breads. This is my like my salad bar right here. Wow, that is some variety of cheese. They got brie, blue, pepper jack, even, what is that, dried apricots? Oh, they have a soup station over here, which I completely missed, and it looks like I don't actually know what Sancocho soup is. Hmm. Oh, over on this side, they've got rice pudding on the dessert station. I missed that the first time, too. So I got some fish, some fried chicken, some pork, some potatoes, uh, chana masala, which is chickpeas. I don't know what else they put in there, but nice Indian preparation and a multi-grain roll. D looking healthy with that salad. Just don't don't look at that stuff. What? This it's is not. not it's not. Actually, you got green beans. Potatoes and, and a chicken leg. Oh, I guess a little chicken leg got burnt. Let's turn the chicken leg over to the good side. There you go. See, it's all about presentation. <laughs> All right, y'all, this food on this buffet is legit. I have to say, the fried chicken was juicy and crunchy and delicious. The Indian food was super good. Potatoes, spot on. I am surprised right off the bat at the quality of the food. Mm. They've got a little station over in the corner that is a roast beef carving station and like a, almost like a make your own uh, pasta kind of area. Lots of options. So coming back here to the back of deck 10, this appears to be the coffee, uh, what do you call it? A cafe, a coffee bar, those kind of words. Latte tood coffee and smoothies. Cute, let's look in the menu. How much are things? Oh, macchiatos, frappiatos, clapolatos. Oh, probably. Cool, well, I guess let's go look off the back of the ship. We have our second pool. Look at that bright orange showers. Yes, love the theming. It's bright out here. So we got a nice view up to the funnel. There's a little bar back here. 
And it looks like we have, well, a nice sized pool. It says 3.71 feet. I like how uh, accurate that is. And a couple of hot tubs. No, this is the hot tub. There's a kiddie pool on the back of deck nine, but we're on the back of deck 10. Is it a warm tub? All right. Maybe it's more of a whirlpool than a hot tub. True. I know. I like looking off here in Palm Beach. This really is a really pretty view. Oh my gosh, what is that? Yeah, because the kiddie pool is down there. So you got like a, a giant hippo that looks like he might actually be a slide. Anyway, yeah, this is a cool view. We've actually, well, I personally have never been to West Palm Beach, Palm Beach, or sailed anything out of here. Let's have our inaugural non-sunglasses West Palm Beach Grand Celebration spin. That was a lot of words. I like it. It's kind of windy up here, but you know. No, it's nice. Yeah, I like this. Right. All right, we're halfway done with the spin, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> this is where it gets exciting because you can pan up and look at that. Oh, oh my look gosh. at that. Y'all, we just gotta stop and appreciate that whale tail. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I can't even complete the spin. This is where the spin ends, y'all. It's just Aww. too good. All right, fine. Hello. Can D keep up? Boom. Ah, uh, we can peek over the edge and see the kids' area from deck 10. Oh my gosh. It's like a hungry, hungry hippo. A hungry, hungry hippo. Whoa, the wind is picking up. Yeah. There's the kiddie pool. That's cute. A couple of little water slides going down into it. That's cute. Would they let us dive into that from up here, you think? Well, I don't want that to happen. Gosh. I'm saying. Like <laughs> now that side is not as pretty of a view as the other side. That's the industrial side. So let's just pretend we didn't look at that. Let's look back over at this side again. Wow. That's awesome. That's our cruise director, Victoria. They just declared all staterooms ready. It is only 1230, so. That's awesome. Huh, I don't know what it was about them saying two o'clock, but anyway. So I think we'll go ahead and wander to the cabin, drop our bags off, get a little settled, and then come explore. So we live on deck six, which is the old upper deck, which is now called, I don't even remember, Universe? The Universe deck, I think. Unicorn! All right, we're taking some stairs. Dee's trying to be all healthy. So down from the Luna deck. Whoa. Well, we've run across what I believe is the steakhouse uh, on our way to the cabin, so uh, we may as well check it out. Stellar Prime. Now, this might actually be the proper dining room because that looks like a normal, I don't know. And then here's the thing with Admiral Steak and Seafood, which is the fancy fancy. Interesting. I guess we can take a quick look around in here just in case this is not our dining room. We might not end up back in here. Got a piano right here in the middle, which is what makes me think this might be like the fancy restaurant. We're learning as we go. Got some tables with a view over here. This is cool. Exploring like, what do you call it? A vintage like carnival vessel that we never got to sail. <laughs> makes it sound so old. It was only built in like 1987. All right enough exploring my shoes are sticking to the floor anyway enough exploring for now let's go find our cabin well yeah the hallway is for are us. <laughs> stop watching us yeah. yeah for the ship um not being as big as it is these hallways look enormously long like there's i believe i don't know if that's the front or the back are you sure you don't use this then you look there wow all right we found our cabin but um, I know they have the little uh, punch hole key things. Like your the card that you use for your charges is not your key on this ship. So we missed uh, a step somewhere. All right, so we came back up to the guest services area and they said that the keys are supposed to be by the door. So they're sending somebody up there, I guess, to uh, deliver the keys because the cabins are ready. And I got steel drums. So here is our cabin. Yeah, what we noticed is that the keys are typically stuck in the door like this, but ours is not quite there yet. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> they can give us an update. That's true. Yeah, he just tried to get in our door with the secret key thing, but it wouldn't open. So I think he's got to go get some extra backup. Now tell us while we're here, tell us an art appreciation class about this painting that you drew for us okay, next to our cabin. So, so this is uh, some kind of an animal, I think, with a... Uh, 
I think it's like a rabbit with floppy ears. Is that what it is? His ears? They kind of look like a butt. No, shh. That's not nice. Ma'am, ma'am, those are clearly ears. There's nothing about that. Sad. No, those are ears, and there's nothing about that that I looks know. like any other body part. So stop it. Just, just shh. Just. I can try. Actually, give me a piece of paper and pen. You want to recreate it? I could. Okay. That's cool. All right, I think we have some OCD going on. She's just standing here. She said, I kind of want the floor pattern to be more centered. Okay. It's making her crazy that it's like off centered. I'm sure it's for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Want it's like probably saved natural. them a little bit of money to, you I know. Used to sell flooring. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so I'm very much into like looking at flooring. So it's funny. Cool. Well, I used to I sell art. Huge on this I sold Not art, which is why I like looking at. Stop it. Stop you never it. sold art. Well, if we can't get into U-152, I'm going to stay in F-155. I'm staying right here. I'll have a fire extinguisher and a fire hose. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> it's Hall's bin time. He just came back a second time and tried to bust in our cabin with his special steward key. Didn't work. So I think he, we're bad luck. We're bad luck, y'all. So know. he's off to find Plan C, I think. The good thing is he found two of the most patient people. Oh, he that's true. So at least they won't like freak out. Give me my cabin. I like it. You're under a light and you're real pale, and I'm like ah. normal looking. All right, no, anyway. Bye, ghost lady. Just so long as, you know, we can hopefully get in a room by two. Oh, yeah, because they were only promised by two, and it's only, what is it, one o'clock now? It's 12 at two. So they're not going to let us in until two o'clock. It's, it's a scam. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. No, they're doing really well. Mm. Yeah, we're having more art appreciation time with D while we wait. Gotta do something. Very nice, yeah. This is another uh, homemade one. Now, see, further on down the hall, they have different types of arts. There's like, you know, this lady who doesn't look hand drawn. There's like some photorealistic stuff. They watch you. They do. What's over here? Wow, this is like somebody went to take a picture and they didn't know how to aim the camera. So they literally got the arm of the chair and this person's arm. Huh. Like, you need to aim up and to the left a little bit there. It's eclectic. We'll go with that. That's a good word, right? Yeah, it's a good word. I don't think we're supposed to have this one. <laughs> <gasps> she did it. Our room is open. Oh, something's flickering. Wow. So there's what we were after. They use the old school sort of, I remember like the hotel, like the punch card keys. That's so funny. So this is for opening your door and then you have your separate card, which is for charging. I've swipey, swipey. That's funny. We're gonna see this All right, happens. we're going to make sure our key does function. So you close. Here we go. No, I guess you just put it in, and you turn your. Oh yeah! Get in. Oh, wow! Man. And then you. It's like you can hear the tumblers turn when you put it in. Very cool. Cool. So cabin tour time. Here's the back of the door, because you know there's important stuff on there. So let's start with our closets. We have the closet closest to the door. All right, nice little skinny closet for tall things, and some storage underneath, which is cool. Closet. Ooh, this is a big old thing. Okay. Whoa, help. So this has shelves on one side with the safe. And then this is also for hanging tall things. And we have life jackets. Coming into the main area, this is where they keep their D's, of course. Right here, where you one would expect. Got a nice big get ready area with a mirror. Yeah. Yeah, nice. ice bucket. Got water. Here's the phone around the corner. Lots of little drawers for storage. I guess your nightstand, no drawer, but a couple of little things for storage there. Nice big open floor plan. Yeah. Huh. Art that is not hand drawn. Beautiful. There's a TV over there with some shelvage. Some big TV. We do have a window. We actually got an ocean view cabin. Nightstand on that side. Let's go look outside and see what we can see. Wow, there we go. Ooh, a little uh, filmy, but that's to be expected from the salt. So we can look out and see. Well, we're on the uh, industrial side right now, but soon this will be all open water. Yes. I guess you could sit in here if you try hard enough, but uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, they've got one outlet that's labeled at 115. I'm guessing that's the standard. It looks a little weird, but I mean, you know, you normally see 110, 220, so 115, 220. Is that like a button? What does that do? I'm scared. Oh, nothing. Maybe it was an outlet they had to cover. Hmm. Well, that's, Sorry. That's the <laughs> light, which, yeah. Key card. Do I have to put my key card in here? No, I guess that's just some relic of the past. What is this? 
Hey, you can order continental breakfast. Oh, cool. Uh, Six dollars delivery fee. Same for room service. Okay. And then they have to pay for items. So, you know, not bad. It's pretty standard. Gotcha. Let's come in here and check out the bathroom. Oh, okay. Whoop. The door flies open. We got a couple of hooks on the back of the door. There's our towels, our toilet. It's kind of a nice, well, sort of a nice spacious toilet area. You know, if you can say such a thing about a toilet area. Sink, mirror, me, oh, one little shelf for storage across there. You got the shaver outlet up top, which I don't use, and I just tap the light switch, because that's cool. Nice, decently big looking shower. Oh yeah, look at that. And of course, you've got shampoo and body wash built in, clothesline, all the standard stuff you would expect. So we are in the cabin officially. <laughs> yes! Yay, That's an accomplishment. It did work. <laughs> it did. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, in looking at the schedule, it's funny to note there's not really like a ton of random, you know, if you're if you're coming on to and expecting lots and lots of right. activities, like there are no trivias at all today. Well, not today, yeah. Um, but you know, there's a show tonight mm -hmm. and there's, I don't know, there were two or three things Bingo. that looked interesting tonight. So, karaoke, raffle. Yeah. You know, it has a lot of the same standard cruise ship things. True. All right. So maybe I'll look at some activity guides and stuff here in a little bit. True. But anyway, we are on board. We are settling in. Mm -hmm. Let's get this party started. Yay. Good night. No, none of, none <laughs> okay. of, none of that. <laughs> Let's explore what appears to be the room service menu while we sit here. So we have pizza, burgers, and wing apostrophe S. I don't know what belongs to the wings, but you know, it's all right, it's all right. Now on the left side, we've got complimentary room service available 24 hours, but there is, I believe, yeah, right there, a service delivery fee of $6. So some sandwiches, cheese plate. All right, and then they've got a lot of pay stuff down there, candy, beer. What was this? Oh yeah, more Tur uh, turkeys. Uh, <laughs> I saw the word turkey. Burgers, <laughs> pizza. So six dollars, eighteen percent. All right. Don't know that we'll be experimenting with any room service, but hey, who knows? There's some stuff on the back too. Pizzas. Oh, that's the pizzas. <gasps> Tandoori pizza. Oh my gosh. Stop it. I just can't even look at this anymore. Nope. All pizzas seven dollars twenty cents. I was about to say, are the pizzas free? Now wait a minute, all pizzas are $7.20, but this pizza is $4.20. Lies, I tell you. They also have their bottles of water over here, but if you crack the seal on one, it's $4.25. Hello hey again! D is on the wrong side. Did you notice she's People on the wrong side? People will comment about Actually, that. Actually, is this how we normally stand? You know what, yeah, I can't even remember. I think we're right. Dang it, I tried to do it wrong, and I think we did it right. Anyway, we are all unpacked. It took forever like two to unpack our literal... Because we literally packed a very smart yeah. in a duffel and two backpacks just for like computer stuff True. Um, for him. But uh, yeah, two minutes to unpack. Yeah, Pretty good we, le we left our big suitcases in the rental car at, at parking. With the valet. With the valet mm -hmm. parking. So yeah. we only brought what we needed for these two days. We tried to be smart. Yeah. Anyway, but I think we're going to go explore. I got a shower, so I'm all fresh and clean, ready for dinner later on. I took a nap. A little bit. <laughs> um, but we're going to go up and get some liquids because we're thirsty. We're taking our uh, Royal Caribbean uh, soda cups. Shh, don't tell. Up there to fill them up. You know, we'll use their cups to fill them up. Don't stick your dirty cup up to yeah, the faucet. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, get big old drinks and uh, nice maybe and check out some stuff. Maybe walk deck nine because most yeah. of the stuff on the ship is on deck eight, nine, and ten, and eleven for the outside deck. So time to explore. Let's explore. We're excited. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay. Yep. Bye. All right. Bye. Like a yeah, I know. The mirror makes the elevator look bigger. Nine? Let's go to nine. oh, let's go to nine then. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that because there were no aft elevators under the Lido or Luna deck. I'm gonna call it Lido. I just have to do it. It's a Lido. Yeah, so we're going to the Paradise deck, not the Promenade deck, and then we should be able to climb a flight of stairs and be up at the Lido. That's the There's all kinds of stuff to explore on nine, but we need a beverage first. Yeah. That's right. We're doing it the sanitary way. You fill up your cup, and your cup fills up your box. Can I can use the same cup. Yeah, don't touch, just don't touch the two together. <laughs> don't cross the streams. Or throw ice, throw ice on the floor. I just want water. I don't know if I like fruit punch. Well, I guess you can learn. Try like a little cup of it. Oh gosh, this is going to be dangerous. <laughs> can she do it? Yeah. Yes. I'm just going to try like that. Now back down to deck nine. 